Hi everyone, I'm Shelly from There's No Place Like Home at redheadmom8.wordpress.com. Well, I got my kids some more fun schooling books. This time it's a fun schooling math for Minecrafters book. And I actually found this on Amazon for like $5. So I got my five youngest kids one. So I thought that I would just do a flip through and let you see what's in it. And just, just in case if you want to try it with your kids. So the back of it just says, math they love is math they need. When kids can apply math skills to activities that are important in their world or in their Minecraft world, they begin to feel confident about their own abilities to calculate. In this book, kids learn to apply their mathematical knowledge to things that matter to them. They won't look at the math in this book and say, why do I have to learn this? I'll never use this in real life. Kids can immediately put their math skills to work through Minecraft. So let's just take a quick breeze through, through this. Um... So here it just shows you some things that they're going to be doing in here. Learn about real Minecraft minerals, learning games and activities, Minecraft building, skip counting, dot to dots, mazes, art, comics, logic, addition, subtraction, using a calculator, paper folding crafts, rocks and minerals, story problems, math games, Minecraft coloring pages, fractions, math mysteries, drawing, and create your own block. So again, like with the other flip throughs that I do, I'm not going to go through every single page in this, but I'm just going to flip through it a few pages at a time. So right there we have a dot to dot that we're going to start out with. And right here, a Minecraft build challenge. When my kids saw this, they got really excited because any opportunity that they can have to do Minecraft for school, they are going to jump at it. So this is your challenge, a hobbit house. Go into your Minecraft world and build using the items listed below. Jungle sapling times 64, a door, any kind, times one, torch, wooden plank, wooden fence, wooden slab, bed, and chest. So it tells them all the materials that they have to use to build things. Over here, it has a word problem and it gives them a graph to figure it out. There's a maze here. We've got a nice coloring page here and a block for them to cut out. Use your colored pencils, crayons, or markers to color in the block. Use scissors to cut it out. Use glue to stick your block together. And I skipped this one right here is fractions and a little guy with a speech bubble. Let's see what else we have here. How many groups, how many items in each group, how many items total. So that's some multiplication practice right there. Over here we have using items in Minecraft. Let's talk about eggs. If you have five eggs in your inventory, it looks like this. Egg times five. It is like a multiplication problem. One times five equals five. One egg times five equals five eggs. If you use three eggs, you are subtracting. So one, time, one egg times five minus one egg times three equals two items. So now how many eggs are left in the inventory? Two. So it just gives them different ways that they can apply math because a lot of times kids have a difficult time with abstraction. Math is too abstract for a lot of kids and that's where their issues come in. And so this really, especially now, obviously this is for kids who really enjoy Minecraft and they're going to be able to apply it more to things that they know and they're actually going to care about it more than they might other times. You know, kids aren't going to care about math if they have no idea how it's going to apply to anything in their life, right? So here we've got another maze right here. And here you need to enchant one sword, one pickaxe, and one shovel. It takes five pieces of lapis lazuli. I don't know if I said that right. I never know how to say that. To enchant one tool, how much do you need? And figure out the problem using the graph paper. And I just want to tell you that there are more... Minecraft challenges in here. There's actually several of them. My kids were excited to see them. Um, let's see. There's another maze, another coloring page, some more create your own blocks. And again, these are for them to color and then they put them together and then they can have their own little paper blocks to build within, you know, in real life rather than just on the screen. Here's another Minecraft build challenge. Your challenge, bank for your gold. So, and then it tells them everything that they should use to build that. More mazes. And that's what a lot of these fun schooling books are. They, they 
are repetition, but it's not like just two or three different things. And then they just keep repeating that over and over again. There are a lot of different activities for the kids to do. And so far, my kids were so excited. I think I already said that, but they were really excited when they saw this because they're, they really like the ones that they're doing now. Here's another challenge, dance floor with disco ball. That's pretty cool. And there's a dot to dot on the other side. Um, and that's really what's inside of here. I just wanted to make this quick video today just to show you this so that you might have an opportunity to see what's inside of it. Um, I'm going to leave the link for this in the description box so you can head on over to Amazon and you can, you know, check it out, see if you want to get it. Hopefully it's still only $5. I don't know. I haven't checked it today, but that would be great. So literally it cost me like $25 to get five of these. So what a great price. Anyway, that's all that I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and would like to hear more of what I have to say, I would love if you would do that. If you have any questions or comments, you might be able to leave one down below. Otherwise, you can go over to Instagram because I never know if I'm going to have comments or not. And if you like my work and would like to check out my Patreon page, I will leave a link in the description box for that as well. And I hope you have a great day.